So this video hopefully will teach people how they can use uh, macros to speed up their process in Pro Tools and you know people are going to run into different situations where they need to do rep repetitive tasks and uh, it's usually a pain. Sometimes it's for editing, sometimes it's for bouncing, sometimes you know it's always different it seems like but it's usually always uh, something you need to customize for your own situation. So for instance um, I rendered out a bunch of samples. When you see me hollering, yeah, like again. So I wanted to take all these audio clips and turn them into a, a keyboard, you know, sample so that I could play them on the keyboard or at least sample them from the keyboard. And I rendered them at the wrong bit rate. So what I had to do, I had to come and bring them all back into Pro Tools uh, as audio clips. I could have went through and done it all again, I guess, through there, but it, this seemed like the easier approach. So I brought all these back in. And I decided it was going to be a lot faster to create a macro than go through all these and do the, uh, the manual approach. So, get you some output here. So just to give you an idea of what these sound like. And you know I got the and you know, and you know I got the blue. But I don't know what to do. But I don't know what to do. Okay, so the way to go about this is to go to uh, a website called autohotkey.com. Some of you have heard of this. Others may not have and download the file, install the file, and once you have the, the file installed, you can right click on your desktop, create new auto hot key, key script, name it whatever you want. Um, it's basically a notepad file that is the extensions changed to AHK so that auto hot key can recognize it. Uh, once you have it saved, you want to right click and edit script and you will be able to write your own script in here. So, I've already done this and it's right here and it's able to send key commands inside of Pro Tools uh, with the key command Control Shift A and I'll show you what that looks like. So, the process that I had to go through um, was to go to each clip, double click, copy, exit, bounce, paste, and bounce. And, um, you know, it just took forever to try to go through all these. So the script essentially does all this for me. And not only that, it jumps to the next track, it solos it, it goes through the whole copy paste um, and yeah, automates the whole process. So. If we're on this track here, for instance, shift, control shift A, well, I don't have the script running, so I need to run the script once it's created so that it's running in the background, as you see here. So control shift A jumps through copies and you can see the name is the same here. I've already bounced them, so I'm not going to do it. Um, control shift A again does the same thing. The name is the same as the track down here. Now I can bounce or I can cancel. Um, so yeah, you can see it sped up that process a ton, but there was one glitch. Um, you can't just control alt B in Pro Tools through this key command for whatever reason. So what I had to do was write it out to where I hit alt, enter, B, enter and um, yeah it takes me through that same way uh, through the file menu so um, but essentially I'll show you you can do this yourself through the colon takes you down to the next track control A selects the track in its entirety shift S solos the track um, alt enter B, well I'm sorry, hang on one, one more thing here, um, 
Control Shift R, and then Control C to copy the name. So you have that on your clipboard. <clears throat> and then Alt Enter B Enter Tab to the name, and then Control V pastes the new name. So I used that in this script to send out all of those in order. And I put these sleep functions down just so I didn't send a ton of, you know, manual key hits like all at once to Pro Tools so I didn't freak out. Um, but yeah, once you figure out your what you're trying to do, then you can just load all these, you know, send a colon, send control or shift down S. So shift S, send control A, send control shift R. Uh, control C so you can see all these are just logical and in order and uh, you can see down here the alt enter B enter and then tab to the new name in the bounce menu and then uh, copy or the paste function control V and it's done you could add an enter after this and it would bounce it for you but I wanted to do that manually so uh, just to check the names and all that so um, but yeah Hopefully this speeds up your process and it's all seems like everything should be functional in Pro Tools. You just need to know, for instance, how to get around in Pro Tools with your keyboard so you can send those key commands. So like Shift M is mute, Shift R is record, Shift S. Yeah. And then all of the uh, options up here in the windows, you can just hit Alt. And then everything with an underscore is a different letter. So if you need um, audio suite, you would hit A. And then you can actually use key commands to shift down if these don't have names or underscored letters that you can go straight to. And then enter and enter. You know, if you need to get somewhere quick a bunch of times, you can do that. All right, hope this helps.